We continue our coverage of the Sacramento City teacher strike. Thousands of teachers and staff took to the picket lines today after negotiations with the school district failed. Their union is asking the district to resolve staffing issues, better pay, training and health benefits. This strike is impacting thousands of students, staff and families. ABC 10's Mike Duffy is joining us now from Sac City Unified School District headquarters with the very latest. Mike. Yeah, Madison, this is just day one of the Sac City Unified Teachers Strike, and it was a long day, as you saw a lot of people out in force protesting today. Now, this means that over 40,000 students are caught up in the middle of this, out of school until this is resolved. Now, the teachers union tells me that there were no conversations today between the main parties at all. They say that their um, representative has told them that they won't be coming together until there is some sort of agreement, some sort of proposal put on the table. Now, they say that they are doing all that they can to make sure that this happens, but they said right now the ball is in the district's court. Macy is a teacher in the Sac City Unified School District, and she admits she didn't think she'd actually be striking Wednesday. I'm sad that it's happening, of course, but, you know, I'm here to fight for my students, to fight for my family, and to fight for myself. Their main argument is that schools are understaffed and good teachers are leaving for better opportunities. Macy also has extra insight on the process. I'm part of the SCTA bargaining team. Where are you at? It's extremely frustrating when your employer comes to the table and says that this is their proposal with no explanation. Um, it's extremely frustrating when your employer comes to the bargaining table and then says they're going to go caucus for 15 minutes and don't come back for six hours. She knows some people reduce the argument to just teachers wanting more money, but she has a message for them. I want the general community to know that educators, we work hard. We are worth everything we are asking for. Our district has a staffing crisis and we're never going to retain teachers if we don't compensate them fairly and show us the respect that we deserve. It's not just teachers out striking either. Ava Brown is a fifth grade student at Matsuyama Elementary School. I'm here to support my teachers and their rights. She tells me it was hard dealing with the pandemic and she was just happy to be back in school with her teachers. What do you feel now that you're out of school suddenly? Angry because our teachers shouldn't be protesting. We should be learning right now. This is like our lunch break. I would be talking with my friends and telling jokes, but now I'm over here fighting for what's right. We were able to get a hold of the Sacramento Unified School District late in the day today. This is what Superintendent Aguilar had to say. We didn't avert a strike. We had a strike now. My hope is that uh, that strike will not endure. Uh, my hope was that it wouldn't go beyond today. Um, we have offered and we have made it clear to our labor partner that our negotiations team is ready, stands ready to negotiate. Uh, we are waiting uh, for our response. But for now, Madison, the strike does continue, and it looks like the earliest that this could be resolved, students could potentially go back into the classroom, would be Friday, but that's potentially. Of course, we'll have to keep you all updated, and we will have continuing coverage of the teachers' strike coming up tonight on Late News Tonight at 11. Mike, thanks.